now we are overlooking the whole downtown Charlotte and Marja. Okay. Now what the first thing you notice is that most of the roofs downtown Charlotte and Marja are uh -huh. red, right? Yeah, and right, that's right. that's because it's a historic district. Okay. The which red. is the Danish historic preservation. So what it did, okay. the Danes used to build with a lot of brick and red, brick and blue bitch rock and so forth and is that so they know that that, that was that's theirs? A, like their signature color okay so once you're in the district okay where's the district to, the whole of downtown is okay. then is is protected by the danish okay district. okay so you gotta the color red is you know that's their signature color so the roofs uh -huh. and the red brick and blue bitch rock represent the way the danish used to build back then okay this is the city of Charlotte Amalia and how it gets the name Charlotte Amalia. Uh -huh. You see right down below, you see a red four to the end. The, okay. You, you, okay, you see the dark, you see okay, the see tree the, and you see the red the red building. Okay. The fort. That fort was is, where, is named Fort Pladesen. Okay. But it was named, renamed Fort Christian because Fort King Christian okay. was the last Danish ruler before the islands were sold to the United States. Oh, okay. The islands were sold back in January 1st, 1917, but the United States actually took possession of the island March 31st, 1917. 1917. Every, every year. Because a lot of people time. think that the, the, the Virgin Islands in the States are like not part of the United States, but- It's the United are. States. It is, right. Yeah, um, so seven European countries did in fact own the Virgin Islands, uh -huh. Denmark, the last European country. So, if you notice, we kept everything more or less in concert with the way the Danish used to build. Build it. And even though that we we built a new uh, coastal area, uh -huh. expanding the the seaboard and the sea wall and the the, 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 the lanes of traffic, uh -huh. that's going to take us all the way around. They be all the way down by the seaplane, into the corner of the, the this whole seaport. Okay. Okay. And right. I was telling you uh -huh. why the the island, the, the um, Mommy, downtown. Like downtown? Uh -huh. so, so, so where is downtown from right here? Is it all right of this there? Is, all of this is downtown. Charlotte okay, that's Amalia. what I thought. So this is the this is the this is the capital of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Okay, capital. Okay. And why it gets the name Charlotte Amal because the king Christian. He had one daughter named Charlotte Amalia. Oh, really? So he named it after his daughter? Correct. Beautiful. So that's the history. Okay. Now, quickly running a quick true history okay. so you could get your test and you could pass it on every okay. day. Okay. Uh, you going to test me? You're going to call a wall to swim with the sea lions. Yeah. Good yeah, I got to get so to the sea lions. You got to get three out, of, three out of four correct. Okay? Okay. Now, okay. when the Danish government sold the, the, these islands uh -huh. to the United States, okay. actually they wanted to sell all three islands. Okay. But the United States didn't want the three. The third island is out is forty miles south of the Virgin Islands, south of St. Thomas, which is our big sister island, St. Croix. St. Croix. Oh, St. Croix is not a part of the US? Yes, yes, oh yeah, yes. okay. I thought it was. Yes. Okay. But when they were selling it, oh, the United they didn't States want it. didn't want St. Croix. Okay. They were interested in St. Thomas primarily because of the location how it was set up. Yeah. And again the main purpose, the United States bought this island was for military purposes to protect the Panama Canal from the Germans and Oh, okay. And so during World War One and Two. Okay. So as a result, it was a package deal because Denmark was broke and needed money, so they, it was three islands and nothing. Okay. So the United States purchased these islands, the three islands, for $25 million worth of gold. Wow. There wasn't no money gold. then, it was exchanging gold and silver. Really? And okay. the merchant used to sell stuff like molasses or sugar. Because sugar cane was a big crop here. Yeah. Just like in the States, cotton was a big crop. Right. Sugar cane was a big crop because it makes sugar and it used for molasses to make rum. Huh. So people will come here to buy rum. Okay. And sugar sugar and so forth. So that was like a main commodity. And most of the production was done in terms of the farming was done on the island of St. Croix. They used to do more farming with the sugar cane. Oh. So, here used to always be producing rum. Okay. So, a lot of merchants used to come here to 
exchange, you know, back then. Huh. Whatever, whatever, whatever ma minerals and material or whatever they want to purchase, rum, um, spices, different spices, they, that's where they come and trade. Oh. And so, silver and gold and things like that. Wow. Now this this pair here you see this you see the ship. I see the ship. When they're gone to the to the dock. Okay. Why? It's because every ship that comes to port, uh -huh. all those fees will go to what? To get to who? To Denmark. Oh, to Denmark? Really? Yeah. So back in nineteen ninety two, uh -huh. the Danish government sold it to the Virgin Islands for back in nineteen ninety two. Sold it to just in nineteen ninety two. Wow. Yeah. So all the time from Several years from 1917 to 1992, Denmark was making money off of the port. Wow! So the our GRS uh -huh. is who bought it. I forget the, the I forget the sum of money that they purchased it for. A couple uh, millions well. Wow! But it became the biggest portfolio for all the time. Really? Yeah. So that's who owns it. Right. And it's, it's run by the West Indian company. Now that's secondary dock. Where's the secondary dock? You see where you see a ship dock in over the there? Yeah. Okay. Crown Bay. Bay. It's called Crown Bay. Okay. But Crown it, Bay. it originally caused surveys. And why it caused surveys? Uh, because when the Navy took over there, the commander of the Navy was actually in these islands. The away, this man. island right there, the first island here, uh -huh. at, it's called Hassel Island. But it used to, once attached to the main island. So you notice that in between it, they have, in the end, you see like a little dock where the ships used to go. That's where the ships, Navy ships used to dock, okay. and that's where the Navy had their, their, um, they had the barracks for the Navy. Okay. So if you look at the coast, now you'll see all the little barracks still there. Yeah. Okay. Now, why did why that island was separated? Okay. Because back in 1869, uh -huh. the yeah, island had went through. Uh, horrific time uh, with an outbreak of cholera and smallpox that uh, had wiped out the population, especially the youngsters. Okay. And back then, there was poor sanitation while, poor sanitation conditions, poor hospital med medical facilities. Oh, and so, okay. as a result, you had people that was not trained physicians or medical medical personnel, okay. but just like, uh, you had like, people know how to bring a child into the wall and right. stuff. Right. So they wasn't really medically trained, but just know how to do certain things and using the herbs of the land and stuff to heal. Oh, okay. So you had a lot of, a lot of fatalities back then. Wow. So, okay. again, when United States purchased and took over, they uh -huh. changed it, they improved the sanitation condition, built new roads, the hospitals, etc. Okay. So the island better. to the back is called Water Island. I spoke to you about that. Water yeah. Island. I've been there yes. once. Yes. Yeah. Also have barracks on that. Okay. And that's they also have a tunnel that runs from the top mountain, the uh -huh. high point. Okay. All the way down to the sea when it was using to look out for ships. Oh. Uh, the Navy. Okay. So it's still there. Um, but they bought up. They bought up part of it because it was dangerous. The foot, the, the foundation. Okay. Actually, the footing was is kind of bad, so people would try to go and get hurt going on, so they bought it up. Okay. So they have a they have um they have a beach bar called Honeymoon Beach, and also Joe Biden brother live on that island. Have a house uh, on the island. Now I was telling you about sub base. During that time, also the submarine base was stationed there, and they had this. Is that right of, over there? Look the boat is that up over there. Okay. That's where the sub the submarine used to dock, oh. and they have a barracks for all their personnel. Okay. And so that's why it was known as sub base, but now it's just one. That dock now, um, Royal Caribbean, uh -huh. have they don't ride for that dock. Oh, okay. So all the royal ships to include the celebrity, uh -huh. um, the the Connor Countess, like um, uh, the Queen Mary too. That uh -huh. that dock. Oh, okay. 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 They supposed to they supposed to build another dock in this area. Okay. To extend to because of the amount of sea travel. Uh, the Virgin Islands, as you know, yes. is one of the busiest tourist destinations by the cruise See? lines. Oh, okay. So right. they, they're going to buy a, build another dock extending out by this new port uh -huh. so that they could accommodate more ships. Right. And I want to believe Norwegian Cruise Line might be looking into okay. having a dock like that. Okay. So, again, I told you. Yeah. Yeah, you see some things that you like. I just, I, I want to come on. Something caught your eye. Yeah. No, I, he was doing a lot of stuff over here, so. 
I just want to. You want to look at the bling blings? Ah. Uh, or you want to hear the drums? Ah, uh, both. Okay. Both. You ready? Um. <laughs> <laughs> 